Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor, and I'm very excited today because we have a very special guest. He's back for the second time because he's just amazing. We had so many people that came on after the show, and they sent us so many comments about how great the show was and how many people were interested in you know what Tom Palandino has to say. So before we begin, I'm just going to give a quick shout out to M. Uh, dmaworld.com and they are a marketing consulting agency and they are focused on trying to help the little businesses grow. They believe in trying to, you know, focus on what's right and they don't want small business to get scammed by those large marketing companies. They believe that their services can help you grow at a reasonable cost. So dmaworld.com has a great program and they offer also a seminar and marketing course to help you learn how to grow your business into a big business because you deserve to grow. So right now we're going to go right into Tom and I am just flabbergasted that he's here today for a second time. So Tom, tell everybody about what you do and explain to everybody, you know, um, it, it's just amazing what you do. Just, you know, just tell everybody what you do and who you are. Thanks, Stacy. Great to see you again, by the way. Thanks for uh, the invite. Same here. Yeah. You're welcome. We're going to speak about energy today. I work with energy instruments. My name is Tom Palladino. I work with scalar energy. I'm in my laboratory so I can demonstrate these quantum instruments or scalar energy instruments. And the key to my research is it's new, it's cutting edge, and I work only with energy. It's not a biological process. To be clear, when I work with people, it's quite unique. I work with people by way of a photograph of a person. This is my photograph. Nobody comes to my laboratory. People send me their photograph, which is their duplicate or their bilocated duplication. So this energy, scalar energy, can recognize a person, their force field, by way of their photograph. So we're going to speak about quantum healing through the photograph. The photograph is the person, if you will, by way of quantum entanglement. It's their bilocated version. Now, can you explain to someone what a bilocated person is? You know, when someone might not understand that that um, terminology. Okay, you and I are bilocating right now. Right. You're in my computer, I'm in your computer. Stacy and I have a, a Zoom call in which we can see one another and we can converse. Obviously, you're not in my computer and I'm not in your computer, but we can share information. The instrument behind me allows me likewise to share information, my information, right, even though I'm not physically present. It's the photograph that's treated. As per our conversation, we are working with our image. Again, we're not physically present, nor are you physically present with my instrument. I place a person's photograph in the instrument. And this instrument has so much energy, it downloads scalar energy into their photograph or their force field. So my work is with photographs which carry a signature, a person's signature, or a person's energy field. This is the new science of quantum in which you can be in two places at once or three places simultaneously. The new branch of physics. So we're not working with electricity. You're not just, if you will, designated to be in one place. You can be in many places by way of a photograph. And that's only possible in this, this dimension of scalar energy. Again, it's not electricity. Like the time. Now, explain to people what scalar energy is, because some people might not be familiar with that. So, you know, explain to people. You know, another term for scalar energy would be chi or prana or zero point energy. Some people call it consciousness. Well, what, what am I getting at? Consciousness or the energy of the universe is everywhere. Right. Consciousness is everywhere. You can't put consciousness in a box. Mm -hmm. Consciousness are thoughts. Consciousness are spirit. The spirit of God is everywhere. Yes. And so you can't put consciousness, you can't put God in a box. It right. permeates the universe. So that's what I'm working with, consciousness. Some people, again, call that chi or prana or zero-point energy. Now, to be clear, when I'm working with these instruments, it's profound what a scalar energy instrument can do. I'm going to demonstrate to the audience just how powerful this instrument is. It's operating right now. It's so powerful, it can illuminate a light bulb that I hold in my hand. 
So that's a download of white light. That's scalar energy animating that light bulb. Now, what do I mean? Well, if it can illuminate a light bulb, then if I place my photograph in the force field, it'll illuminate my chakras. That's an illumination of my chakras, an illumination of my brain waves. So the identical energy that's going into the light bulb is now the identical energy going into my seven chakras. This is possible through a quantum field, through a force field. It's not electricity. So this is what I've discovered with these scalar energy instruments, that not only is it a unique paradigm, it's not electromagnetic, but it can impart instructions. So there's a download of intelligence. And by, by demonstration of that chakra balance, and after I work with people with this instrument, Yes. People report, it's always about the benefits, people report by way of testimony that their mind is clear or they have greater creativity or they can sleep better at night. Some people say this has enhanced their dream recall. Right. Others have said that this has curbed their desire for alcohol. They can cut back on their alcohol. Some people said this has helped their depression or their insomnia. Right. Now, how is that possible? Well, the energy is instructive. Energy is divine. It's from God. Energy is fundamental. It observes the laws of science. And this fundamental force seems to have a profound influence on our brain waves, a profound influence on our seven chakras. So as a cutting-edge scientist, this is what I've discovered. Many people who, who sign up for our 15-day free session tell us that, yes, those are some of the favorable results that they're experiencing. The key to my work are results. Now, to be very clear, nobody has ever duplicated my work. This instrument is unique, hence my, my results are unique. So the only way I can prove my point right now is by way of testimonies. And we're right. Getting, we're getting great testimonies. People are speaking quite favorably as to what we're doing. Right. Now, how, how did you come across the discovery of scalar energy? I was inspired at a young age to read about great scientists such as Nikola Tesla, and I learned about him just by reading and really delving into his work. Then I was fortunate enough later in life in my 30s to meet a family by the name of Hieronymus. Hieronymus. Mm -hmm. The Hieronymus family were, were um, scalar energy inventors. They actually sold instruments, and I actually purchased an instrument back in the 90s from them. Mm -hmm. and they taught me this trade. Um, a, a great scientist, Dr. Sarah Hieronymus, who survived her husband. Yeah. So I, I, it was, if you will, almost a, a, a cottage industry at that time. Right. You, you had to work with the right people who had the knowledge. Very few people, quite frankly, have the knowledge of this operation and how to engineer an instrument. Right. So to make a long story short, I met with this Hieronymus family. They took me under their wing. I served as, a, if you will, a, a, an assistant to them for years. And I learned scalar energy from, from the masters, from this family, the Hieronymus family. It was quite an undertaking. I was very fortunate to, to be placed in that position. To this day, I, I owe them a great tribute. Mm -hmm. Galen Hieronymus, the inventor, I never met him, but his wife, I owe her a great deal of, of, of respect and admiration for the time she spent with me. Dr. Sarah Hieronymus, sadly, that invention has died off with the family. No. The family does not continue. There's nobody in the family left. Um, so essentially the baton was passed to me. Right. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. So with, you know, because really the world is run by energy. That's, we are energy. Everything is run by energy. And so it, it's very powerful, you know, and even, you know, when you think about it, you know, you could think about somebody and all of a sudden that person's calling you on the phone, like telepathy, you know, it's, uh, you know, people don't realize the power of energy. You know, you put a thought in your head, that thought is conducted by energy and the power, you know, if you, you're thinking of that person's face and you're thinking of that person all of a sudden that person decides to call you and it pops up and the phone starts to ring and you answer the phone and it's that person, you know, it's more than just a coincidence. You know, people don't realize that. That's scalar energy. 
you just described this instrument. Now, that's a connection. Sometimes mothers have a connection to their children. They know when their children are happy or sad. Some people, as you mentioned, if, if the phone is about to ring, you know who's calling you. Right. That's telepathy. Call that quantum entanglement. Call that the spirit of God. So if you can forecast, if you can predict that somebody's going to call you, there's some type of communication, some type of energy communication. Just right. as there's an energy communication between my photograph and my aura. Right. To be, to be clear, there's no physical matter with this energy. This is intelligence. Consciousness is not an electron. Yes. Consciousness is not a proton. It's non-physical divine energy. I only work with non-physical divine energy. And that's so important because there's never a biological consequence. Right. Everything's non-physical. So information can only uplift information cannot harm. Now, for, you know, I've come across so many skeptics that kind of have that um, in the box kind of theory. If they can't see it, they don't believe it. How, you know, what do you have to say to those people who are so skeptical because they can't see it? So, you know, if they can't see it, they don't believe it. Yeah. Good point. Sign up for the 15 day free session on my website. I'll probably make a believer out of it. Yeah. Number two. My predecessor, Galen Hyron, was received a U.S., Canadian, and British patent for this instrument. Wow. So those, those three governments were impressed. Uh, point number three, Galen Hyron was, was working with the Apollo 11 astronauts during their moonwalk. NASA provided photographs of the Apollo 11 astronauts, and he was working with those astronauts while they were a quarter million miles away through their photograph. So if you look at the history of scalar energy and you look at a, the scientific experiments that have been conducted and, and the U.S. patent that Gale and Hieronymus was secured, this, this is real. This yeah. is a scientific process. You know, it's new. I realize people don't understand it, but this is, this is entrenched in hardcore science. Right. It's always been here. It's just the acknowledgement of it and people actually realizing the power of it, you know, has, you know, been here for only, you know, X amount of, of years, you know, decades, but it's been here forever. You know, this is what we're, we're based on. This is what the foundation of life is based on. Yes, it is. Thank you. So if we look at light energy, all of creation owes its existence to light. Light is fundamental. Light provides instructions. Nothing precedes light. Yes. So if you sort of speak, the first domino is light. Every other domino is subservient to light. Right. So what's the point? I'm working with scalar light, the light from the sun and the stars. This is the master uh, decision maker. Scalar energy is the primal force of everything. Yes, it is. It is. You know, I, when I, when I use, you know, the, the, when I do uh, things related to scalar energy, I feel very clear minded. I feel very focused. Um, my, I, my whole, my whole self in general changes, you know, um, it, it just, it helps you just, you know, and also I feel like it also makes you a strong connection to the spiritual world and to, and to the, the earth world also, you have, you know, you kind of, you kind of see things through, through a different pair of eyes. I feel, you know, you know, you kind of go, it's a, it's a hard exp explanation to describe, but you become a, a person with a, a different, you know, a more powerful connection with, you know, the spiritual world, the energy world, our world, you, you see things and you feel things differently, but it's a good, it's, it's, you know, a more powerful feeling in a good way. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I do. And to speak to that point, positive thinking, let's just speak about positive thinking or gratitude. That mm -hmm. is an emotion. That's, that's an expression. Every right. time you think it's a scalar wave. So the the science behind positive thinking, yes, you, you get what you ask for. There's a real science to that. A thought, consciousness, is a scalar wave. Mm -hmm. So when I say I can balance somebody's chakras, if I can illuminate a light bulb, then I can illuminate somebody's mind with positive thinking, with positive influence. 
yes. is there is a science to gratitude, positive thinking. There is a science to rightful thinking, having the proper expression. The mind and the heart are scalar energy vessels. So thinking and feeling are scalar waves. Yes. When you think and when you feel, you produce some type of consciousness, which is scalar waves, scalar energy. Right, right. Now, how does that machine actually work behind you? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to just we're, and just show the, the audience. That's part of the instrument. Okay. The, inst the instrument has no moving parts. So it actually is creating what I call a double helix. Mm -hmm. if I'm going to shape my hands just like a, a spiraling double helix. That's what scalar energy is, is the double helix. So this is not an electrical current. This is a double helix that I can master. And once I find my way into that paradigm, scalar energy, it's right. A it's a different physics. No longer are you in the electromagnetic spectrum. Hence, I can take, once again, a person's photograph, and I can scan that, and a person receives a balancing of their aura or their seven chakras. Right. You can't, you can't do that with a toaster or a computer or, or your dryer or your dishwasher. You can only do that with a scalar energy instrument. So right. My, my process is unique with a scalar energy instrument. Now, can this also be, can you also help people that have certain types of conditions? Yes. What I've discovered is this, Stacey. Everything I do, I work by way of, of photographs. And why? Because a photograph is a source of light. I'm going to hold up a photograph of streptococcus. And sometimes mm -hmm. people have strep throat. If I match up a photograph of a bacterium with my photograph, this instrument will interpret both force fields. Right. What, what am I saying? I can download the energy of streptococcus into me. Right. And in so doing, this instrument will not only find the signal of streptococcus in me, but reduce it to a state of chaos, break it apart, nullify it, negate it. So wow. I, say, I call this my pathogenic cleanse. Over the years, I've assembled thousands of photographs of microbes. And by introducing these two photographs inside the instrument, there's a sharing of that white light. Once again, I can download the light of streptococcus or the information into me. And in so doing, this instrument will not only find streptococcus, but eliminate it, bring it to a state of chaos. Right. So this process is a, a light process. This is an informational process. It's not a chemical process. Yeah. We're only using photographs. Hence, there's never a chemical, chemical reaction. Mm -hmm. So what, what's my point? This is not medicine. This is not flesh and blood medicine. This is a new realm of science, quantum information, in which photographs communicate. I, I don't work according to Newtonian physics. I work to, to the tune of this new physics, scalar physics. Wow. This is pretty amazing. I love it. I love it. It's the future. And I'll, I'll tell you why. It's free energy. This energy is from the sun and the stars. Eventually, if we can illuminate a light bulb locally, we'll be able to illuminate a light bulb a thousand miles away. Right. Now, the key is if we can achieve that, then we're on the way to, to solving our energy crisis. Again, this is free energy from the sun and the stars. And if we can send this energy anywhere in the world, we don't need an infrastructure. We don't need satellites or substations. Right. So if, you know, find your way, extrapolate with me and, and just project to use this in a, in a broad scale setting to power the world, free energy from the sun and the stars. You don't need an infrastructure. It pre-exists. You don't need to build power plants or expensive relay stations, et cetera. Yeah. You don't, you don't need a satellite. This will serve to answer our energy needs. Wow. Pretty amazing. Now tell me a little about your course. I want to hear more about the course that you offer. Okay. So we have to prove things. I'm all about results. So our website yeah. is scalarlight.com. Now on our website, if you submit your photograph, you can send in photographs of your family also with their permission. We're going to, number one, balance your chakras. As I demonstrated, it's the energy so strong it can illuminate a light bulb. For one hour a day, we balance your chakras, and you'll feel it. You'll, most people feel a surge of energy. Right. And then 
hour number two, we take photographs of microbes once again, and we're able to scan those energy fields of streptococcus and other types of bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Right. Scan that and look for it, identify it in a person's quantum field, and eradicate, remove, or bring to a state of chaos a microbe. Okay. And that's our second hour. Now, for the final hour, we begin with the nutrient program that lasts for 22 hours. Oh, wow. So hour number three, we take nutrients. This is a photograph of vitamin E. I download the energy of vitamin E into a person. I don't use a chemical. I never work with chemicals. Mm -hmm. I only take the energy field of vitamin E, the information, and I download that into me. Now, how do I assure that? I assure that through photographs. A photograph of vitamin E has a signature. It will match up with my signature and my quantum field, not biological, my quantum field starts to create the energy of vitamin E. Right. Now, the result is people say, say that they're not so hungry because they're getting the nutrition that they need. So sometimes this nutrient program, again, we practice this for the remaining 21, 22 hours a day. Right. When people receive nutrients, they're not quite so hungry. It's a trigger, if you will. They're right. satiated because they're receiving energy of nutrients, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, by energy. So you reduce your food intake. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Wow. I was going to ask you about how you get the vitamin, but you just answered that. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. And the key to my research is there's no guesswork. A photograph of vitamin E has a signature. Mm -hmm. I'm not a medical professional. I'm a scatter energy researcher. And right. my, my research says that any photograph can be downloaded or shared with another photograph of a person or an animal or a plant. So by the way, if you sign up for the 15-day session, send in photographs of your pets. I have two dogs. My dogs are on the program around the clock and my dogs are healthy right my dogs are germ free and they receive nutrients every day from scalar by way of energy my dogs are healthy it works the reason i mentioned that dogs don't know they're being treated with scalar energy. Mm -hmm. that's kind of obvious now can we practice scalar energy once we learn more about it after we do your course can we could we practice that at home or is there, is there any way that we could do that? Because you have the machine, but is there a certain way to practice it at home? And you do that every day by prayer, by meditation, by positive thinking. And I've said this a million times, even though I have a scientific instrument, the human mind and the heart are scatter energy instruments, scatter energy vessels. And the capability of the mind and the heart far exceed the capability of this instrument. Right. So what I do, what I'd like to see from my work is at least people acknowledge that there is consciousness or that there is positive thinking and it. It actually is a, can be boiled down to the science of a wave form. Yes. It's non-physical waves of scalar energy. So what's the, what's the result going to be? The world then will, will if you will, embrace this concept of positive thinking, of prayer, of meditation. You know, I, I, I'll make a general statement if 8 billion people are on the planet. If 8 billion people meditated and have positive thinking every day and had a goal or two every day to reach for, it would be paradise. Yeah. This would be absolute paradise. Oh, 100%. 100%. Now, do you have articles on your website that talk about it to explain it more in depth? Yeah, yeah I do. I, hundreds of articles. I write an article every week. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so that, th thank you. That's the key now. We're at the proving point. I understand people want proof. Sign up for the 15 day free session. While you're experiencing the 15 day sessions, you'll receive daily emails from us. We explain the process. The key is to introduce that there is another energy. There's not, there's something more better than electromagnetic energy. Right. This is what Nikola Tesla, the great scientist, wanted for the world. Tesla later in his life was working with scalar energy. All of his instruments were of this non-physical manifestation. If you look closely at Tesla's work later in his life, 
Yeah. He wasn't, he wasn't working with electricity anymore. He was working with the energy of the sun and the stars. Right. So let's pay attention to that example. And let's work no longer with electricity or magnetism. Let's let's afford ourselves this better option, free energy from the sun and the stars that is non-physical and cannot harm. Right. I like that concept. That's an excellent concept. Thank you. Now, what are your goals for the future? Do you have any any um, anything that you're planning for the future? I want to work with millions of photographs. We can miniaturize the photographs and assemble them on a collage. So oh. Today, I was working with close to half a million photographs. Wow. So we are growing, and the word is getting out. We've been working with clinics around the world that send us collages like this. So we're still in the proving stage. The next two, three years, we still have to prove this. Yes. Once we prove this, I'd like to start working with two, three million photographs a day. Wow. And then I can branch off and I'll start working on free energy instruments, in which hopefully we can illuminate an object at a distance. That would be my goal. Ideally, I would like to do that. If I can achieve that, that matter of illuminating something at a distance without the need of wires and satellites, then that's the beginning of the end of the energy crisis. Right. So when you get these pictures, what exactly do you do with them? Every night I, I print them out. It's a computer-generated system. I have collages. Like that. I print them out, and I immediately start treating. Immediately. Now, these instruments are on 24 hours a day. So, again, it's a 24-hour clock that we observe. As soon as I get the photographs in at night, the treatments begin. Right. I'd say within the first first two three days, people feel better. People say that they see a shift in their in their health or improve some type of improvement. It, it's difficult, granted, because you're not in my laboratory. I realize that. So, if you do sign up for the 15 day free session, just be mindful when you start. We'll send you daily emails and then monitor how you feel. Right. And, uh, you'll see the difference. You have, to, frankly, you have to because. Energy is fundamental. Nothing can stop this energy. Yeah. Consciousness. You can't stop consciousness. Right. Now, I think you also have to believe in it, in it in order for it to work, don't you think? That helps. That helps. Yeah. The people who believe and who, who want this manifestation, they usually have a, an accelerated healing or they, they feel it in a much more profound uh, fashion than others who, who are okay. neg negative or just it's just want to discount this. So I think the proper attitude is, is it the proper scalar way if you want to assume. Because I've noticed that when people have more skeptical um, outlooks on things and they're not open-minded, there is blockage. And it doesn't, it doesn't look like they get the full effect. It, it, they only get a little bit maybe, you know, but they don't get the full effect. You're right. And that's not only true with a scientific instrument, that's true in relationships, that's true in your job, that's true in any athletic performance, that's true in life. Right. If you believe in something, then just assume it, assimilate it, allow it to allow it to work with you hand in hand. The immediate function is you feel better and you, you working hand in hand. You're in unison. It's unity. If you don't agree with something, well, that's the division. And, right. And, and division is always going to stifle your progress. Yes, 100%. Now, if you had to give a couple of tips before we go, what would you um, you know, tell people who are interested in this? You know, How do they begin? Or maybe some important tips to get them started. Okay. Keep in mind, people, many of you pray and meditate. Many of you have positive thoughts, positive affirmations. That's true and accurate. You've seen that in your life. This is a positive affirmation instrument. What your mind can conceive, a brain wave, okay, your thinking. I have now engineered, if you will, the, the analog of a brain wave, a positive thinking. Just try the 15-day session. The, the website is scalarlight.com. There's no obligation. We don't ask for any personal information. You don't submit any debit card. We don't, we don't put up with that nonsense. We're going to work with you for free. 
We're going to assemble your photographs every night on a collage like that. We'll treat your chakras, we'll balance your chakras, we'll, we'll provide nutrients energetically, and we'll, we'll scan and remove microbes. You're going to feel better. Working with these instruments 24 hours a day and having all of this energy and all of these benefits, after 15 days, you judge, but you will feel something. You will feel better. That's amazing. You know, I, I love, you know, your, everything that you do, you know, and, and I've, I've talked to you before we've done this before together and it's very powerful. It really is. And it works. And, you know, I'm, I'm very, you know, glad that you came on again to this show because, you know, people have to realize that, you know, the world, you know, is more than just what we see. There is a lot that exists that we can't see. And we really have to be more open-minded. And like we were mentioning, the world is run by energy and energy is powerful. Without energy, there would be no world. They would be nothing. So people have to realize how powerful it is. We ourselves are energy. So, you know, if we're, you know, and even when you pass on, they say the body disintegrates, but the energy rises. Where does that energy go? You know, the question is, but the energy never gets destroyed. So it's, it's here and we have to learn how to, we can utilize it if we, if we really interested in, in utilizing it. And if we know how to utilize it, it could do wonders to the mind, the body, the spirit, you know, and your life. It could change your life around in many ways, you know, and, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, it's really something that's beneficial for people and people really have to, you know, maybe look into it because it is very powerful. Bravo. Bravo. That's the key. Energy is fundamental. Energy always achieves the objective. Okay? Yes. People make mistakes. Computers make mistakes. Energy is perfect. It's immutable. Energy follows the laws of science. That's why my work is so important. Right. As long as these instruments are working properly, my work is flawless. Yes. Yes, 100%. So tell everybody before we go where they can find your website again so they know where to go. Scalarlight.com, S-C-A-L-A-R, scalarlight.com. And that is the starting point. Just read some of the articles, familiarize yourself. And uh, when you're ready, just upload, email us your photograph. The age of the photograph doesn't matter. Consciousness does not recognize time. Everything's uh, uh, overcome by that time space continuum is overcome by consciousness yeah send, send in your photograph let us do the work and then you decide after 15 days how you feel and if they want to contact you can they contact you on the website maybe ask yes. you a question or two yes yes we always have um, somebody answering questions seven days a week write us Excellent. a question we're there to help you Oh, this has been wonderful. Thank you so much, Tom, for coming on the show. Um, you know, I, I wish you the best of luck. And I always, you know, love to have you back on the show because your your material is, is you know, everything about what you do is just amazing. So I love talking to you. I love how you bring awareness to people about the power of energy, about the power of, of scalar light and, 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 you know, and the quantum theory and how everything works all together. And, you know, you kind of bring, you kind of open open up a new world for people, you know, by, by explaining it and showing people how it works and then giving them the chance to actually try it so yes. they could judge for themselves, which is so important. So thank you so much for coming on the show. And, you know, I wish you the best of luck and I'd love to have you back on. Okay. Thank you so much, Stacey. Always a pleasure seeing you. Oh, same here. Same here. You have a great day.